Welcome everyone. This is Dina from Mark's Group Live. Happy to be reviewing How Do I Sync CRM Contacts and Zoho Campaigns. After the video is over, feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com for any questions on this subject or anything else Zoho. Be sure to rate this class as well, helping out your fellow Zoho users as well as helping us to improve the video library. Here are some of the key points we're going to talk about today. So first, why would you want to sync? Um, the most important thing is that syncing contacts can help you share information between CRM and campaigns without doing any importing and exporting. You don't have to worry about CSV files or anything else like that. Uh, second, syncs can be set up at different frequencies that can be used to capture updates across the products. And third, syncs can be customized for specific lists, modules, or criteria. And what this means is that you don't have to sync all of your contacts, but you can do them based on specific needs that you have within Zoho campaigns. So now let's go look at what this means. So here within Zoho campaigns, you can see that um, we have two places that you can go to start syncing. We either have here on the dashboard, we have sync services, which is the second option here, or we can go to subscribers, and choose sync services here as well. Now when we go into sync services, you can see that we're set up to do syncing with Zoho CRM, which is what we want to do today. Now we will go ahead and create a new sync, but let's look at an active sync first to be able, make sure we all understand what we're doing. So we can see this first one, CRM leads, is incomplete, but the CRM contacts one is active. So let's go take a look in that, in the in the CRM context and go through each of these fields to start giving you an understanding of what we're doing here. So first under sync details it has mapped list name and what that means is the list within Zoho that you're mapping to. And I'll take you into Zoho in a minute to see it but just to clarify also the next line is map mo uh, module name and as you can see it's contacts. So if we were to go into Zoho CRM and go to contacts and then when you click on where we have all, all contacts there's a down arrow and you can you have different um, different lists here and so where it refers to here in Zoho campaigns is map list name that would be referring to one of these lists here we go back into Zoho CRM I mean Zoho campaign you can then see that this sync was first created in December and then you can see that the next retrieval is on February 28th and that this retrieval type is weekly. And if we go back here um, on the left, just to clarify, the view name, that will be the actual list in Zoho CRM, while the map list name is the name of, the of what we're creating here, as you can see in, in campaigns. So another big part of syncing is mapping. So you want to make sure that you're mapping the fields in Zoho CRM to the map to the fields in Zoho campaign when you're bringing a list in from Zoho CRM. So if we click on edit mapping here, you can see that we have the CRM fields on the left and the Zoho campaign fields on the left on the right. So you could see that our CRM fields that came in from our list, we had last name that ended up mapping in campaign to last name. The CRM field was email, and you can see that that mapped to subscriber email here in campaign. And you can see lead source became CRM source, mailing list became state, etc. So that has to, that's the mapping. So if we go back from here, then you can see this is where you could always have edited the mapping. And now within this screen, if you remember here, we said the retrieval type was weekly. So I'm actually going to scroll back down to December because I want to show you what happened the first week, December 6th, when we brought in this campaign. You can see that we brought in a total of 31 counts. That included 23 new subscribers. Ignored subscribers was 8 because that means that we didn't have the information we needed. So then if you go up to um, CRM contacts on December 13, which would have been the next week, we did not get any new subscribers, but we ended up with 22 duplicate subscribers here. 
And then as you go up each week, you get the results here as well for each of the sinks because this was set up for weekly. And in some cases, there'll be zero information that needed to be synced. So this is what you would do if you were if you wanted to look at an existing um, an existing sink. But now let's go in and let's add a new sink so you can see how we would actually build that. So I just clicked on Add New Sink, and then you have two options here. You can do an immediate sync, and what it says here is that you'd set up an immediate sync to import your records automatically as soon as new records are added to your CRM. The periodic sync would mean that the update would only happen on defined intervals. So you can choose you know, which one you would want to do. I'm going to choose, in this case, Create Sync, since we already went through the periodic one. And here I'm going to choose, we're going to sync with the contacts module within Zoho CRM. And then it's going to ask me for the sync name and all of the other information. But before we do that, so actually, so the sync name we'll call um, um, CRM sample. And then we can either choose all contacts, so the CRM sample sync would always bring in all contacts, or we could choose a custom view. And if we choose a custom view, then we would be able to see all of the different lists that are in Zoho. And just to show you what this really means, if we go into Zoho and we're in contacts, if you recall, if you click on the arrow next to all contacts, you can view, you can see there's a different views here. And I actually created one called Sample View. And here, here is that sample view. So if I, this is one that I can then bring into Zoho Campaigns. So here now, since I chose Custom View, I now have to choose which custom view I want. And if I scroll down, Sample View is one of the options that I have. And then it says Sync to Mailing List. So if I do the drop down here, this mailing list is what's in Zoho Campaign itself. So it's, what's important to remember is that the view is coming from Zoho CRM, but then the mailing list is something that's in uh, Zoho Campaign. So as you can see, we have existing mailing lists, but I'm going to create a, a new one. And when we do that, you'll see at the top there's some information regarding GDPR. And this is really related to subscribers that you have that you may be sending emails to in the e in the European Union, and some some require some rules that you'd have to um, follow. But we don't have any EU subscribers on this list, so I'm going to click that, and that will go away. So now I'm going to call this uh, mailing list sample mailing list. Now, what's important to remember here is that this name is something that any subscriber will be able to see. Because if they were to unsubscribe from your list, they would have to choose this as a mailing list they're unsubscribing from. So you want to make sure that this list means something and is, isn't something that internally you would say that you wouldn't want external people to see. And then the next option you have is that you can decide whether you'll allow subscribers to, to join this list from sign up form. So if you click on the I here, says yes, anyone can join this mailing list using the sign up form on your website or subscribe link in your email footer if you have that set up. And here it says no, there's no way anyone can subscribe to this mailing list unless you manually add this, a subscriber to this list. So in this case, let's say we assume we don't have that sign up form available on our website, so we would want to click no. The only way they can come in is by us either manually adding them or through the sync. So tell subscribers how you know them. Um, and we can just say, you have received samples from us in the, in the past. And you can see the note here will be that your message will be added to the footers of all your email campaigns. Now we're going to hit save. And now we're back into the sync services section we were in. And we can see now that sample mailing list, the one we just created, is now in here. Now this doesn't mean the mailing list is ready to go. This just means that when we're ready to get that mailing list done, this is the one, this, this is 
going to populate the subscribers that will be part of the mailing list. Your next option is to exclude email, op, exclude email opt-out. And the information here says import only active records and ignore the records who are opted out of Zoho CRM. You can say don't exclude, remove from mailing list, or remove from Zoho campaigns. So if you have information in Zoho CRM about opt-outs, you can decide to what level you're going to exclude them here. I'm going to say if they want to, if they opted out, we want to remove them from the mailing list. And then I'm going to click next. And then here is where the mapping of the fields comes into. So we have in that list that we that I had the sample uh, list in Zoho, we had industry on the left for CRM fields that matches to campaign fields here. You have website that matches to account website. You have account name matches to account name, etc. So you then have an option. You can map more fields or fetch custom map fields. So if we were to click map more fields, select CRM field, you can then go in and even if it wasn't on the initial list you pulled in, you can then pull in other information. So let's say for some reason um, we wanted to bring in, um, let's see, uh, let's say we wanted to bring in other street just to make sure that we have some information. Or actually, we don't have address in here right now. So let's bring in mailing street, and then you want to select the field in campaign, and then you can go down here scroll down and that would be address and then you would add that and then you can see that's here too. The other thing you can do is that let's say you have the CRM field lead source just to have. Let's say you wanted this to be a new field in campaign. You would click a new field and that would then add another column in your campaign field for a lead source and you can match that as well. But that already exists in campaign, so you just say, got it. Let's change this to um, source. Add that, and now you have lead source and source. So this is a way you can add in fields if they weren't on your initial list. Then what you would then want to do is initiate this. And then once you initiate it, you can see that this looks like it did for the initial sample that we looked at, the initial CRM list that we looked at, the contacts list. So here, the map list name is sample mailing list, and this is the, the, um, the name of what it is in campaigns. The module that we pulled from in CRM was contacts, and the view name was sample view. And here's the field mapping. You can always edit it. We created this today, February 26th. And the retrieval type we did was immediate. And then you, um, we have now we can go and we can actually do this. We can see that nothing came in, but it could take a little while to come in. So here, what you also can do as you're creating lists, you can make the changes here as well. And now if I go back into our sync list, we can see that we have two active lists, the CRM sample list and the CRM contact list we looked at before. We also have the CRM leads that have been created. It says it's incomplete. We can view the details and we can decide if we want to um, update it. And here with the CRM sample, where we have this toggle, we can turn this off and make it inactive as well. So that way you would have options of active, inactive, or incomplete if you started a, a um, sync but haven't finished it. So this is how you go about setting up the syncs. And if we go back to our key takeaways, you can see that by syncing contacts, you can share information between CRM and campaigns without doing any importing and exporting. And as you can see, it was just a few drop downs and mapping to get those lists into each of the systems. Syncs can be set at different frequencies that can be used to capture updates across products. And then syncs can also be customized for specific lists, modules, or criteria, as you saw, rather than having to do the entire contact list.
So I hope you enjoyed this video and please check out our library for other training videos like this one. If, any, if you have any suggestions for other classes or for questions about Zoho, please email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. Thanks for watching.